we've had a busy morning. We've had a lot of developments and changes in the presidential race. So let's bring in our political analyst, former Democratic Senator Claire McCaskill and Rich Lowry, who's the editor of the National Review. And Claire, let's just get started with you. There's a lot of optimism, hope. They're talking about popping champagne over at the Biden camp. How sure should they be? I think they have a right to be very confident at this point. Uh, these votes are going to keep coming in the same way in Pennsylvania. I think they'll build up a comfortable margin today. The question going forward is going to be, how will this country survive a president who's making accusations without any proof? And the courts will have to weigh in on that, and they typically are not favorable about cases where there's no evidence. Let's go to Rich Lowry here. Rich, you are a conservative. You can see um, the math that's, that's starting to develop on the map as well as anyone else. What do you think the Biden campaign should do if, if the Trump campaign, which is saying it's fight to the end, it's mm -hmm. fight to the death, we're going recount, we're going lawsuit. So that's fine. That's with it. They're within their rights to pursue those tracks. How should the Biden right. campaign um, proceed? Should, should uh, Biden go ahead and start naming a cabinet and doing all those kinds of things if he is declared the winner? Yeah, so assuming things continue to slide the way that they have been, and you have news organizations and most people acknowledging that he's won the states that get him to 270 or above, it makes sense for him to begin acting uh, like the, the president-elect, naming staff, holding meetings, talking about potential cabinet positions, things of that nature. And I, I don't think it makes a lot of sense to, for him to engage uh, Trump, uh, President Trump, who will continue to talk about fraud, will pursue legal avenues, but you don't win legal cases based on uh, your, the force of your rhetoric. You, you need evidence. And absent that, time is not on the president's side. And I, would, I think eventually you'd have Republicans like Mitch McConnell, who issued a very careful statement today, didn't endorse what the president was saying, didn't denounce him for it either. But you'll see over time, I think the Mitch McConnells of the world were saying, you know what, maybe this wasn't uh, totally fair. Maybe, you know, there are questions about it, but it's time to move on. Do you expect that, um, Claire? What do you think we're going to hear from the other side of the aisle as this develops? Well, I, I think there will be a lot of pressure on my Republican colleagues uh, in, in Congress, a lot of pressure on former presidents who could weigh in here uh, to push the president to do the right thing. And I think that will eventually happen. All right, Claire McCaskill, Senator, mm -hmm. former senator from Missouri, Rich Lowry, editor of the National Review. We really appreciate your time this morning on a busy, busy morning, mm -hmm. and the votes are still being counted. We await a decision. It's not over till it's over. It's not over until every last vote is counted. Yeah, we've got votes coming in from Nevada and around the country.